Guys, I have to sincerely apologize, because in Twitter vs EDP445, I missed out on a lot of hilarious tweets. I don't know how this happened, usually I'm on the ball with these types of things, but I guess I was in a rush and I missed out on a lot of tweets. So let's not waste any more time and rectify that for you guys. Robin Williams Stan tweets out, EDP after finding out the MLB has a minor league, Young Crip says, When mom shows up with five guys instead of five little girls, Justin Wang says, Eat that poo poo 445. Impel Down says, Someone dead hours called EDP our belly. Can't stop laughing. Ricky Berwick says, Hey EDP 445, you looking for this? Showing a picture of a cupcake. Woofin NYC says, EDP now stands for Enter Dat Prison 445, probably his cell number. Abdi says, EDP when he sees Lil Mosey as his cellmate. Poorly Aged Things tweets out an EDP 445 YouTube video titled, I scared a seven year old girl. Tony Sobrano responds with this Twitter video that says, the police at EDP's door with his chat logs and the warrant for his arrest. What's this, you fucking piece of shit? What's this? Huh? What's this, motherfucker? What's this? Huh? What's this? What the fuck is this, motherfucker? Huh? What's this? Janky Tay says, EDP reacted like the teachers called his parents. Honestly, we're doing you a big favor? No, 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 you guys, please. Hi, uh, is this Bakersfield, Kern County? Are you guys really doing this? Are you really okay. doing this? There's somebody here to meet You're a 13 year old. You're here to meet a 13 year old. Who has solicited photos. There's somebody here to. Are you really doing this? Photos. Yes. Okay, it's apartments. Um, are you serious? I don't know what time, I don't know what what do you mean, come on, man? Jay also posts that same clip and says, Look at EDP's reaction when they were calling the cops. Bozo was about to cry. Sensitive Society says, Did EDP really start praying? <laughs> B. Timbs says, LOL. This came from a video EDP445 posted on YouTube a couple weeks back. The whole time it was the decoy. And he really tried to flex on his audience. I'm crying. Hey, babe, let me give you a call back. I'm, I'm gonna make a video, alright? I love you. Alright. Some niggas know and know and know about that. Little nerd ass, no pussy getting motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers hating and shit. JJ tweets out EDP finding out cuties is getting a sequel. Drip Gut says, EDP trying an adult for the first time. I guess it's okay. Um, it damn sure ain't worth waiting damn near an hour, hour and a motherfucking half to get this bitch like the fuck out of here. Amani says, on God, this is how Lil Mosey and EDP gonna be in prison. We're looking! <laughs> and I hate it. Oh, oh, Mudhar tweets out, This EDP 445 shot makes me want to start punching holes in my walls. Fuck these pieces of shit predators on our platform. Go to jail and get fucking tossed around. Trollface Incidents tweets out, If you rearrange EDP, you get peed. Step 1. Be popular YouTuber EDP with millions of supporters. Step 2. Develop a small fetish for an underage girl for the second time. Step 3. Send pictures of yourself to this woman and get caught. April 2021, the ED Predator incident. Buckets by the Wall says, EDP after finding out he can get a minor by going to college. Introspective says, Saw the EDP DMs that he was sending to what he consciously thought was a 13-year-old girl. 
and I can say with confidence that's the most disturbing shit I've ever read in my life. Juice Wayne says, can't spell pedo without EDP. 8 Thought says, EDP is not only a fucking creep pedo, he's also the dumbest dude I've ever seen. He admitted to everything on camera and more. Now that's about it for the Twitter reactions, but I do have a couple more things to show you guys as more stuff has happened since my previous EDP videos. You guys remember this black haired guy from the EDP exposed video? Well he actually ended up uploading his very own version of the exposing, which has better camera quality and more importantly shows the camera guy for the Chet Goldstein channel, allowing to get us a new perspective on one of the most iconic parts of the EDP encounter. What's up man? What's up? Uh Fist bump? Chet Goldstein's cameraman actually ended up giving EDP a fist bump. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Anyway, something else you might remember from that encounter is that Chet Goldstein ended up calling the cops towards the end of the interview, which gave EDP enough time to get away in his car. Some people, including myself, were worried about if he would end up being caught because of how they handled calling the police so late into the interview. But luckily, we have a bit of an update on that, as we now know that EDP is actively being investigated by the police. Here's a clip from a news program talking about it more in depth. All right, that clip you just watched is from a YouTube video posted by CC Unit. The whole video lasts nearly 55 minutes in which two YouTubers set up an attempt to catch a person they say try to meet up with a 13 year old in Bakersfield. Law enforcement telling 23 ABC the video's content is under investigation, but as of now, no arrests have been made because of that. We've chosen not to identify the man in the video, of course. 23 ABC's Veronica Morley is taking us behind the scenes of that vigilante operation. And if local authorities think actions like this help or hurt law enforcement, you initiated a conversation with a 13 year old knowing she was 13, yes or no? Went on that same 13 year old account and messaged him as a fan saying, hey, I love your YouTube. He's like, oh, thanks. And we just liked his, liked his comment, that's it. And then two days later, he messages us like initiating conversation, knowing she was 13. It sounds like an undercover operation, but it's not cops behind these fake profiles. They're the creators of the YouTube channel CC Unit, which stands for Creep Catching. The group posts dozens of videos just like this one, where they posed as a 13 year old online and met up with a person they were talking with, which they say took place here in Bakersfield. What we do is we tell every predator we live in, we live where they're from. Because so I, I have arrests in Los Angeles. I have arrests in um, like Temecula, Riverside area. And then I have arrests in um, Virginia. Adrenaline, because you know, like you're dealing with a criminal, obviously. You know, they, it, there's definitely some gray areas that are involved in this as far as legal uh, and, and the potential use of some of this as evidence in criminal proceedings. Bakersfield police say while vigilante operations like this are not illegal, it's a dangerous position to put yourself in and could impede law enforcement down the road. What we see is we get reportings after these events have occurred, and it's never from the people that are directly involved. Uh, and so that creates problems with the uh, obtaining of all of the information. They say impede on their investigations. There is no invest. I've, we, we do it, me and Ghost respectively have caught combined over 300 predators Every time like law enforcement says, oh, you're like not really helping the situation, uh, I, f I feel like it, it's like a part of their protocol. Or but BPD says there are several different factors that make operations like this more suited for trained investigators. Bring certain skills as well as investigative strategies to the table where we can ensure that one, if there's a victim, that they're protected uh, so that we can then hold people accountable for their actions in a court of law versus a court of public opinion. Where I just hope I just hope that, you know, people people support what we do because we yeah, in the end, in the end, we do this for, to prevent the action from happening. The last thing I'd like to share with you is that EDP 445 has now deleted every video on his YouTube channel, but luckily he still has his gaming channel. That was a joke, by the way. EDP doesn't have a gaming channel. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If I get any updates to the story, I will upload a video on it. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel. In particular, Scrubby who has donated $100 a month. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in another video.